Good evening. I am Nancy Houghton, the director of the Chester County Intermediate Unit Practical Nursing Program. And I'm pleased to welcome you to the graduation ceremony of Class Pickering 02. I would like to introduce Dr. George Fiore, the executive director of the Chester County Intermediate Unit. We are thrilled that he could join us tonight. It is my great honor and pleasure to congratulate the second full-time cohort class to graduate from the Phoenixville campus in the 63 years since our practical nursing program was founded. As a former history teacher, I would be remiss if we did not recognize the steps by which the practical nursing program came to fruition, and more importantly, the esteemed group of graduates that you will now join. The practical nursing program was established in 1957 through the Westchester State Teachers College in partnership with Chester County Hospital. In 1968, the Central Chester County Technical School assumed responsibility for the administrative and educational components of the practical nursing program. The Central Chester County Technical School was renamed the Center for Arts and Technology, or CAT, and joined the Chester County Intermediate Unit in the late 1980s. The Center for Arts and Technology Practical Nursing Program celebrated its 50th anniversary in November 2007. Shortly thereafter, the program moved to the newly opened Technical College High School, Pennox Bridge Campus in West Grove in 2008. And then in 2012, the program made a final move to the Technical College High School Brandywine Campus and the nursing program changed to the Chester County Intermediate Unit Practical Nursing Program. Your cohort has 19 members and was originally scheduled to graduate in person on December 9th. Due to COVID restrictions, we celebrate you and your accomplishments virtually. I know that many of you are preparing to take examinations to become certified through the State Board of Nursing as LPNs. Today, we not only celebrate your much earned graduation accomplishment, but we also celebrate your noble service to our communities far and wide. You have taken on the challenge to serve others during the worst pandemic we have seen for generations. You provide care assistance and a path towards healing. You are the front line. You are our heroes. And on behalf of the Chester County Intermediate Unit Board of Directors, administration and staff, I congratulate you for your graduation and future contributions to our society. Be well, be safe, and know that your family at the Chester County Intermediate Unit is very proud of you. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Fiore. I would like to present the graduates. Graduates, please stand. Upon achievement of the program requirements, these graduates have successfully completed a Pennsylvania State Board of Nursing approved and ASIN accredited practical nursing program. It is with great pride that I present to you class P02, that's Pickering 02, of the Chester County Intermediate Unit Practical Nursing Program. Congratulations. I would like to introduce Class Pickering 02 Salutatorian Lisa Patika. This graduate overcame significant health challenges during the program. Yet through it all, she showed the true definition of perseverance and hard work. Congratulations to Class Pickering 02 Salutatorian Lisa Patika. At this time, I would like to introduce our Class Pickering 02 Valedictorian Sharinda George. Our program has shared a clinical affiliation with the Penn Medicine Chester County Hospital over the past many decades. The medical staff continues to recognize academic excellence at our graduation. This award recipient is a serious, hardworking student who strives to excel in all she does. Her instructors describe her as a great patient advocate and very caring. I am pleased to congratulate Class Pickering 02 Valedictorian Sharinda George. And now a message from our Class P02 Valedictorian Sharinda George. Good evening, friends, family, fellow classmates, staff, and educators of CCIU. Welcome 
to the 2020 PNP 02 graduation. Although we can't be together today physically, we're really happy that we can at least come together virtually because this has been our lives for the past eight months. When we started this journey back in August of 19, none of us knew the pandemic was coming. It wasn't until March when we were at our clinical sites that we had the word that all nursing students, family, friends had to evacuate. No visitors were allowed. We had to stay home, do online schooling, and wish for the best because like today, nothing is certain. However, the past few months, my fellow classmates and I, along with our instructors, have pushed each other to be the best that we could and the best way we could. Although times were tough, we all made it together through all the hard work, dedication, tears, sweat, sometimes blood. <laughs> we all did it together and we are so thankful to have your support, our teachers support, and even our patients support in encouraging us to be the best nurses we can. Uh, we just want to thank you for your support and your dedication to us throughout this whole journey. It has not been easy, but we did it. I'm wishing the best for each and every one of us as we go on to become nurses. To my fellow classmates, nursing instructors, and staff of CCIU, it has been a pleasure getting to know you the past 15 months. Although they have been difficult, we all pulled through together and we are done. And I wish nothing but the best of luck for every single one of you. And I hope one day we get to work with each other in the future. Thank you. I am happy to introduce our guest speaker for tonight's graduation. Charlene Smith has come full circle with us. She began as a student graduating in 2012 and then continued on up the career ladder for her associates, then bachelor's, then master's degree in nursing, and is coming back actually to be teaching with us. The students did not know that when they chose her, so we told them, you have very good taste. We are very thrilled to have her join our faculty. I am very pleased to introduce and welcome Charlene Smith. Hello, my name is Charlene Smith. I was honored and very surprised when Mrs. Halton asked me to speak today. I would like to congratulate you on completing the CCIU Practical Nursing Program and welcome you into the profession of nursing. Today I know that you are excited, full of anticipation of what is next to come. This is the time where you have an opportunity to realize your dream of becoming a nurse and putting into practice what you've learned. First, let me acknowledge your determination and strength. We are in a unique time in history. Who would ever think that you would be graduating from nursing school during a pandemic? But you did it. You had a choice to make. You didn't stop. You pushed through. For that, you should be congratulated. Plus, when people come to you and talk about what they can accomplish, how they can't meet their goals, you'll say, wait a minute, no, no. Let me tell you what was going on when I graduated from nursing school. Now that you've completed nursing school, the next thing to think about is what type of nurse will you be? Really take a minute to think about that. It is a much deeper question. Will you be the type of nurse that comes to work, grumble, late, not doing your best? Or will you choose to be the type of nurse that comes to work to do their best every day? We are in a time where many of our patients are separated from their loved ones, their families, their friends. We may be the only person that they have an opportunity to interact with. We are the helping hands in our community. I encourage you to be the type of nurse that listens that has empathy, and most importantly, a nurse that cares. 
I hope you will be a nurse leader that shows compassion. Your humanity will forever be the most vital thing that you can give to your patients as a nurse leader. It will be the one thing that keeps your care patient-focused rather than task-focused, um, gracious rather than defensive, and therapeutic rather than mechanical. Always keep in mind, be the type of nurse that you would want your mother, your children, or the type of nurse that you would want as a patient. I believe in life what matters most is not the job or title that you hold, but how we share ourselves with others. Today, I know that you're celebrating and you deserve it. You work very hard. Tomorrow, you'll begin to study for your NCLEX. And I have one more piece of advice. Listen to your instructors. They have years of experience and have helped many students pass their NCLEX, including me. Remember, graduation is not the end. It is the beginning of your new career. As an alumni of the CCIU Practical Nursing Program, I would like to congratulate you, Class P02. Thank you. Thank you, Charlene, for those inspiring words. Graduates at home, please stand and recite the Practical Nursing Pledge along with me. I sincerely pledge myself to dedicate my life to the delivery of health care, to maintain high standards of personal ethics, and to advance the knowledge of my profession. I will endeavor to conserve life, alleviate suffering, and promote health. I will be an advocate to those in need and provide for the well-being of those in my care without prejudice. I will not use my knowledge contrary to the laws of humanity, neither will I disclose any personal matters entrusted to me. With integrity, I will practice my vocation as a responsible member of the healthcare profession. I will follow these precepts and guard them sacredly. We have a tradition with the program called the Nightingale Lamp that we have our graduating class pass the lamp to the class that will be next in line to graduate. And I have a little story to go with it. This is an important symbol in nursing. During the Crimean War, Florence Nightingale gained the nickname, the Lady with the Lamp, deriving from a phrase in a report in the London Times which described her as a ministering angel whose slender form glides quietly along each corridor. She may be observed alone with a little lamp in her hand, making her solitary rounds, caring for the sick and wounded soldiers. Within six months of her arrival in Scutari, the mortality rate dropped from 42.7% to 2.2%. She was also one of the earliest nursing statisticians. Florence insisted on adequate lighting, diet, hygiene, and activity. She was well ahead of her time. She understood even then that the mind and the body work together and that cleanliness helped to prevent infection and that it promoted healing. As a symbol of unity and caring in the nursing profession, our graduating class officers pass the lamp to the next graduating class, reminding them in our high-tech healthcare world not to lose sight of the caring component of nursing. Our students always want us to acknowledge our staff and faculty. We have a tremendous uh, team of wonderful nurses and in nursing instructors, as well as our office staff who support our students on a daily basis. I know that our graduates really wanted to thank them as well. So thank you to all of you. PNP is an amazing team and we thank you for all you do for our grads. As I share often with the students and graduates, we are most thankful to have met every one of you. Our life is changed as each class teaches us some life lessons. In the end, we are better teachers and better people because of having met all of you. Thank you for that. Attaining academic excellence in such a rigorous program is commendable. I would like to recognize graduates who were inducted into the National 
Association of Licensed Practical Nurses Honor Society, having demonstrated this achievement. Layla Bay. Sharinda George. Michelle Nonemacher. Charita Norwood. Lisa Patika. Shante Savage. Afaf Sayud. Jesenia Torres Lugo. Amanda Vasquez. Rachel Voltz. All graduates who have achieved this Honor Society status, please stand and be recognized. At home, give them a good round of applause. We like to give special recognition for achieving perfect attendance throughout the entire program. Now, we, we know we're in a pandemic and this has been a, an extreme challenge this year. However, this, we did have one student who managed to have perfect attendance for the entire program. And I'm very pleased to commend Jesenia Torres Lugo, who managed to have perfect attendance, not being late or absent for the entire program. Congratulations, Jesenia. Another important part of the PNP program are our PNP ambassadors and they represent the nursing program at school or community events, volunteering their own time above and beyond school hours. This is an area employers like to see on resumes and shows that a potential employee gives back to their community. Please give a round of applause to the following students for their great efforts supporting our community as PNP ambassadors. And now we're on to the awarding of the diplomas. At this time, I would like to introduce the graduates of class Pickering 02. Diana Armstrong. Autumn Bearden. Layla Bay. Jafia Crippen. Brittany DeShields. Sharinda George. Ashley McGuigan. Taja Melvin. Michelle Nonemacher. Sharita Norwood. Lisa Patika. Shante Savage. Afaf Sayud. Jesenia Torres Lugo. Amanda Vasquez. Rachel Voltz. Especially, I would like to thank all of our guests and our families for joining us this evening. To conclude our program this evening, we have thank you slides from our graduates to many of their family members. And on behalf of the CCIU Practical Nursing Program and staff and colleagues, we are very pleased to congratulate our newest members of the nursing profession, Class Pickering 02. Congratulations and have a wonderful and safe evening.